It's a dream that started here in Toronto. Dozens of crew workers are at work, loading trucks with props and set pieces. The National Ballet of Canada is taking its production of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland to La La Land. It's a dream come true for Karen Kane. She traveled the world with the National Ballet during its golden days, but that was quite a while ago. We haven't been to Los Angeles for 35 years. We haven't been to London for 25 years. You know, we haven't been to New York in over a decade. The Four Seasons Center for the Performing Arts here in Toronto, the National Ballet's home, seems a bit like a gilded cage. Taking the ballet on the road outside Canada has become too expensive in recent years, and there are too few venues inside Canada to accommodate their big productions. Alice is one of its biggest productions, with the whimsy of a beloved children's book and a lightness of movement that's the perfect showcase for these dancers. This dance critic says Karen Kane's desire to take her company on the road is not just a matter of boosting its prestige. It's a strange Canadian thing. You've got to make it abroad before you really make it at home. Not that the National Ballet isn't well established, but it, it sort of increases audience awareness. And Kane's reputation is a helpful calling card. Just ask Renee Williams-Niles, the director of programming at the Music Center of Los Angeles. The company is absolutely extraordinary in terms of the talent of the dancers. I think it's very much um, indicative of, of Karen and what she's been able to grow and build upon um, under her legacy as well. I think it's time for us to step back on the world stage. Karen Kane's dream doesn't end in L.A. The National Ballet will also take its Alice to Washington's Kennedy Center. Deanna Sumanak, CBC News. Toronto.